Energy, 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 energy. Yeah, 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 hey, yeah. Energy, energy, y'all better stop playing with me. You've been blessed yeah. by royalty. Look, look, look. Hey. Energy, energy, yeah. I got the juice. See how they look, how they stare at me, vibration heavenly. Baby, in love with me, in love with my energy, in love with just kissing me, in love with just feeling me, in love with just everything. I ain't worried about enemies, y'all better stop playing with me. Yeah, they be bopping messy, can't stay in the mix, I'm too classy. Yeah. So they do me nasty Know how I go when they feelings be trashy Envy and jealousy only imagine Talk out your neck, wanna do all that capping Girl, is you serious? You was a fan Facebook, you love me in public you make me What up, y'all? Y'all know what it is It's your girl, Jay Nichelle And it is Friday Thank God we done made it through another week You know I got my mimosa on deck If you're tapped into this episode Go get yourself something to drink, okay? Because you're definitely gonna wanna sip on this episode I'm bringing y'all something super spicy Per usual, y'all know I got a dope guest in the building but before we get into our guest today, big shout out to my guy, Young C. Y'all see it, we up at Mixed Down Studios. Make sure that you book your sessions, artists, all genres, all different type of music. If you're looking for a place to record, this is the place to record. Mixed Down Studios. Get with your girl if you need a hookup. I'm going to plug you right on in, all right? Now that the business is out the way. Who we got? We got a guest in the building, but we got a lot to unpack today because the town. I mean, if you was in the building, you definitely felt the vibes and the energy. The first ever verses here in Wichita, Hondro, Hunters, Dre P. They did their thing. We're gonna unpack all of that and get into it. But I am joined. I, I'm so happy to have a another woman here today with me. She's giving me that boss energy. It's very much given boss vibes today we on our oprah shit the remix and uh we're, we're definitely gonna get into it so without further ado y'all help me welcome today's guest mrs tyra miss boss hey guys hey 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 yes okay so thank you for joining me thank you for listening yeah yeah no for sure i was so happy when you reached out because i was just telling my team like i wanted to get more women um, and then I also kind of wanted to get away from the rappers a little bit because I didn't want to paint the image that this is just a platform for yeah. for rappers. So thank you for reaching out. Oh, yes, I've seen. I, you know, I've been watching you for a while, but then after the ICT, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, so she she does like interviews and yeah. talk show things. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm definitely. Thank you. About to reach out to her. Thank you for tapping in and, and thank you for supporting. No doubt. So, you were there last night. We're going to get into the battles, man. You was there last night. Now, let me ask, are you um, a part of Dre P's family? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so your family. Okay? Yes. So, now I don't know. It's family, and I know how, how family go. Yeah. But what, what was your real honest feedback or opinion about the versus just how it went, period? In all honesty... I think it was a fair win, not saying just because that's my cousin. Mm -hmm. But if you, when I look at a verse or a competition, whatever, however you want to put it, I'm looking at stage, you know, presence. Yep. I'm looking at how you make the audience feel, react, the, vibe. Mm -hmm. the vibe, all that. And just overall, how you maneuvering it and using several things. Yeah, not yeah. just your lyrics. Mm -hmm. So that's how I looked at it. So I really think that they didn't choose the wrong person in yeah. my honest opinion. Now, don't get me wrong, I feel like Hondro is a very good rapper. Absolutely. He has very good potential, but everybody has their weaknesses in certain mm -hmm. areas, you mm -hmm. know, and you just gotta learn for the next time. That's it. And hands down to both artists, for real, shout out Prolific Promotions, man. This is something to help move the culture forward, period. To help move the town forward, the artists and everything that we're doing here. I really do hate that Hondro was so feeling such a way. Like, I know artists are sensitive about they shit. Yeah. However, it's like, it's a competition. There, there has to be a winner. There has to be a loser, yeah. you know? But it was not an easy choice by any means. It was very, 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 very hard to choose. Niggas did not want to be judges because they didn't want to choose. Yeah. But that's that's competition. When mm -hmm. you got a good competition, I love that more. Yep. I would prefer that than to have a good artist versus a mediocre mm -hmm. artist. So they both good, you know, and they both came with it. It's just made the best one win. And you know, I, I I'm gonna say it here on the platform. 
I, I was a judge, and the reason why I made the decision decision that I made, I went with Dre P. And the reason why is because Dre P. switched it up for me. Hondro, Hondro was good, you know, but at, after song three, I felt like I heard it already. Yeah. Four and five, yeah. you know, and that's no disrespect to Hondro because the baby do that. You can listen to the baby and his music kind of starts sound. Cardi B, all her shit is kind of starting to sound the same. However, you know, if you dominate in that show lane, I mean, definitely dominate in that lane. But Dre P showed more versatility. Yeah. And if you're competing with somebody that has more versatile, it's gonna you you got you're they're gonna overpower. Yeah. Because they got something for everybody. Yep. The ladies. Yep. You know the hustlers. Yep. Yep. Something uh, if you want to kind of just sit back and vibe yeah. and kind of. You know, catch a little uh, a little relaxed vibe <laughs> yes. too, or if you really trying to get, cause you know you got the hype music that got you like I'm about to get up and go get some money. Okay, you know I'm about to get up and make some things happen. So he gave me a little bit of everything, yeah. and I was vibing the whole time. Hey. Yeah. 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 Afraid of my fucking whooper, stupid. Yeah. Hey, energy, I got a lot of energy. I just ask that you respect my energy. If I can't bring the 30, I'm not entering. But the gleeky eye, victimize your partners if they intervene. I'm sliding gloved up like I'm in a ring. I'm Freddy Krueger in my city, I be ending dreams. Hey, off a back with it, some Hennessy. If you've been wondering, yeah, that's exactly what got into me. Turn a pussy nigga to relationships, people. You know, that's another thing that people have to understand in the music industry and really any industry. It's about relationships that you build with people yes, and the connection okay. that you have with them. Because I know people were talking about, you know, we cheated or the ju judges were this or that. And, like, I'm telling you straight up, it was hard. It was a hard decision. But, you know, decisions have to be made. And um, I was the only female judge. Yeah. I was the only female judge. So, I've only seen you motherfuckers <laughs> fucking with me. The female you know, so I, I want to ask you as a female boss, how do you maneuver through just be it, carrying the weight of being a boss and a female in the industry? Man, it's honestly, I just stay in my lane. Yeah. I keep going, keep pushing because being a woman boss is just an automatic intimidation to men. And I'm not even going to say all men. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say some because it's like in the society they feel like women can't be in the positions that we are we can't run stuff yeah you know and i don't believe that yeah so i just stay in my lane stay to the plan yeah if you in intimidated we ain't gonna work together well that's it and it's just as simple as that cheers to that queen <laughs> cheers to that period okay so we for people that are just tapped in let me say i can't start running my mouth long enough to take a sip <laughs> Okay, so pe for people who are just tapped into you for the very first time, let's let's go ahead and give them a little bit of a backstory on who you are, where you're from, and kind of just what you are about. Okay. Well, I'm Tyra, Miss Boss, as you know me from Facebook. Um, I'm born and raised from Wichita, Kansas, 316, period. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm pretty much just a go-getter. I'm yeah. about everything that I wish for. If I say it, I mean it. If I want it, I'm gonna go get it, period. Okay. Um, I got two children. I got an 11 year old and a four year old son. Okay. So. You spread um, them babies out. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> Had to. Okay, okay. <laughs> but the moral of the story is I'm coming for moms. Yeah. And that's just that. Everything y'all said she couldn't have. <laughs> is mine. She coming. <laughs> And that's period. Then that's period. Okay, so then let's talk about All Her Beauty. What inspired you to go in that direction with um, beauty in, in the cosmetic industry? In all honesty, I like making women feel beautiful. Okay. And I'm not saying like, I know a lot of people like to wear makeup and all they self up. But, you know, there's days we still want to be pretty, but not just feel so heavy. Yep. So yes. my main focus is, okay, girl, you can put some lip gloss on, mm -hmm. you can throw these lashes on, mm -hmm. and you can be good. Yeah. And that's just that. Yeah. And most, like, I've been always a lip gloss person since younger days. Yeah. Like, I want my lip gloss popping. Oh, was you, like, was you listening to that little mama song? <laughs> it was. It 
it was, and it needs to be popping. Cause my <laughs> lip gloss is popping. <laughs> but I have to. I always had that fetish. So as I got older and I got more into the entrepreneurship mm-hmm. side and doing my research, I'm like, you know what? I'm about to do a lip gloss line, yeah. and not only your ordinary lip gloss line. I'm talking about some real quality luxury yeah that's gonna fit you in every way moisturize you it's gonna give you some shine you yeah know, and it's gonna last once you apply it's gonna give you a little bit of lasting you know what i mean mm-hmm. so it's just something i always love. and who 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 not- better to get your lip gloss from from the lip gloss guru like she said she's always had a fetish for this like so you know good quality uh lip gloss when you feel it yes it's and the thing about it when i first started like all her beauty it was more of i was more like kind of doubting myself i ain't even gonna lie i was kind of doubting myself because i'm like man in my mind I'm trying to build a luxury yeah. brand. So it is going to be a little bit higher yeah. than your ordinary, ordinary. Nike or, you know what I mean? Because I'm getting points to luxury. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not really going to buy my lip gloss for this much, you know? But I'm like, you know what? Forget that. Yeah. This is what I want. And this is what I'm going to build. Yeah. Because what one won't buy, another one will. You yeah. Get me? Okay. <laughs> and they paying uh, 50000 for bags and everything else. You don't really know what people, it, when you, like you said, if it's a luxury product, it's going to reflect. I want to kind of circle back on that, like you said, because I can totally relate to you on that. When I first started doing interviews, I did everything for free. Mm-hmm. Like I would go to events. I would do things for free. Everything I did, I just kind of, Saw, saw it as I had to pay my dues, yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? And so I did a lot of shit for the free. Yeah. But when I did decide to start charging, I was like, man, nobody's going to want to pay, yeah. you know, to do an interview. And then I'm th- now I'm starting to feel like, should I put the price too low? Like, because people are paying yeah. and people do see, like, it takes, it takes, um, it ma- takes money to make money, first of all. And you got to pay to play. You know, the game, the game is to be sold, not told. Not told. Okay, for y'all that don't know out there. So I, I applaud you, Queen, for stepping out on faith and setting your price. Yeah. And so, I'm standing on it. You know, it, it gets discouraging sometimes because, you know, you hear little comments through the grapevines. And, mm-hmm. But, you know, look at Fenty. Look at all them little brands. Like, can y'all buy that with no problem? With no problem. So I'm going to just keep my foot on the gas. That's right. And all her beauty is up, period. Period. And we this. <laughs> we need this. I love it. And you know, one thing I do pick up about you mm-hmm. is that you have good energy. Yeah, like I, I'm telling you, I cannot do bad energy. Yeah. I will isolate myself. And even if I feel like, you know, because I think every human has bad energy days. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Now, if I feel like just I wake up and something ain't right, I'm going to isolate myself till I figure that out because I'm not going to bring my that negative energy, energy. yeah yeah so, or whatever type of energy yeah yeah i'm not gonna do it yeah let me get myself right i don't wake up go to sleep try it again whatever i gotta do yeah i'm gonna get it right yeah because what you put out is what you, you get in and i think that is so important too you know shout out to um southwest entertainment shout out orlando i used to be very big on um i just felt like i was always in some bullshit mm-hmm. you know and Orlando was like, you just got to leave with love, you know, because I was always ready for all the smoke. Yeah. Like, I'm ready for all the smoke. And I kind of didn't even realize that I was carrying that type of energy. So maybe that's what I was attracting, yeah. you know. And so he was like, you need to really leave with love. Just try to have that type of energy and put that type of energy back out. And that's what you will get yeah. back. And I swear to you, that is exactly what happened. So I'm super big on energy. Yeah. That's what you'll receive. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, I ain't always been, you know, Mm -hmm. calm and just on energy. So it took a transition and growth. Yeah. You know what I mean? But now that I felt that, it is what it is. I want that good energy always. Yeah, absolutely. So you mentioned your mom. I'm a mom, too. Shout out to all the moms out there. Um, How do you balance being a boss and being a mom? You got that love that I want You got that part of me I can see Wanna love all of you Not just part of you, baby Let your love be
your guard down, open up your mind Let me get inside I know you're scared, I know exactly what it feel like You got me feeling right You keep me satisfied It's the little things that you do that I'm not used to That lit the back shots, we missed the movie Had the pussy squirting like the desk in the jacuzzi Sex by the pool, let me chew you at that two-piece Blend the stomach parts, turn that pussy to a smoothie Got that ooh-wee, choking on that gas, that's that new wee Ooh-wee, choking on that gas, that's that new wee Eighth in the wood, that's exotic like my bitch Lil' baby got the juice, but she ain't got it like my bitch Mad cause they want me knowing they don't like my bitch Kicking is a minute Sometimes it get hard with balance and being a mom and being your own boss because it's different having a nine to five and being your own boss because when people don't understand, they think, oh, I don't want to work my, a nine to five or I don't want to work for somebody else. I want to work for myself. When not understanding, when you work for yourself, it's 24-7. It's, it's, like, it's not eight hours. No, mm -mm. it's 24-7. You're building from the ground up. Nine to fives, they already have a corporation, million dollar corporation. They making their money. We are building from the ground up. So really with me, it's just time managing. I talk to my kids. I let them know, hey, this is what's on the schedule today. This is what I have to do. And not only for my old, my oldest, you know, I just pretty much push her in the entrepreneurship too. Yeah. So Smart. she pretty much beside me most of the time, my little assistant. Yeah, you know? so, I love it. I pretty much just let them know what's going on, schedule my days out to keep myself balanced because if I don't, I'm doing too much and I'm not giving mommy time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to get that mommy time with them kids. So I pretty much just got to have my days scheduled out. Yeah. And it's about, and you know, when you're trying to balance a nine to five, doing a business, being a mom, if you have one slip, like one off day, like it's like a domino effect because it puts you behind when your schedule is that like slam pack. Kind of, at least for me. Yeah. Like if I, if I'm, if I wake up late, like everything it's is messed off. up for the day. Yes. Like it's all the way off. Like yeah. I just that's why I try to get getting up early is a key for me because I notice when I get up early, get my kids up going, brush out teeth, eat. Everything goes smoother, but if I sleep in and the kids come home, yeah, like, that's when it's a, go. It's, a, it's a wrap. Now, one thing I do love about you, I see you last night. Um, I don't, I don't normally just see you out a whole bunch. I ain't out nowadays unless there's a bag included. Mm -hmm. But I seen you out last night. You looked gorgeous. You look mm -hmm. gorgeous today. Thank you. Um, but I noticed that you're very natural, which I love that about you. So, can you just talk about your personal style, like your go-to look? Well, for the most part, on an everyday basis, I'm natural. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody that knows me, you know, within my brand and, you know, my promos, I might doll up, give you different looks and yes. styles like that. But as far as me, on an everyday basis, you're going to catch me with a flat iron, silk press, curly, yeah. lip glosses, maybe some lashes like today. I don't got them on. No lashes. But. And she's gorgeous, y'all. Look, I I'm dooming all on you. Because her skin is bomb, too. You know, I'm going to ask that skincare regimen. Like, is that good jeans, honey? Or is that actually a secret? Girl, because I just, I'm not an everyday. I've never been an everyday makeup. Like, yeah. all the way. The, what do they call it? Face beat. Yeah, yeah. Beat. I'm not everyday, but... For my occupation, when I'm in the in the behind the camera, mm -hmm. photo shooting, videoing it up, I dolls up. Yeah, you do, and you have a lot of content out there, and that's another thing that I love about just the direction you're taking your business in because it's clear that you do understand the importance of having content out there on social media, yes. and you go pull out like. Yes. You was on skates in one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you was on shit. She laced up the skates, y'all. And behind the scenes could skate. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So we got to get this look. Yeah, we got to get it right. Get I it love right. it. We got to get it right. 
So are you your own like uh, strategist as far as like branding and marketing and all of that? Yes. Everything. You're your whole team. It's just, and yes, and I'm looking forward. I'm giving myself another six months because I actually been researching this company that can take over my social medias and yeah. handle it because it gets hard. It gets hard, especially you have a personal one and then your business and one. then the business one. And I don't know if I mentioned this or not. You know, all her beauty is having. We're gonna upcoming services that's going to be added okay. to all her beauty which such as um uh, micro shading oh lip um neutralization like for smokers lip or for people that just want a more lighter colored lip and also uh lip fillers okay what smokers lip like you know when people smoke and then they get the dark lips oh your like, lips what? get black <laughs> He's like, dang, that lips is back, but it be pink, right? I <laughs> am freaking dead. I did not even know that it's, that's what it was called, yeah, smoker's lip. Yep. Okay. So if people are like, oh, I don't like that. So we can we can fix that for you. We can fix that. <laughs> we can fix that. And then lip fillers, you know, for people, they want their lips well uh -huh. But I don't have a date exactly because we in the background getting everything in the works, licensing, everything together. Yes. But it is coming. And when we come, just be ready. Man, just be ready. Congratulations, <laughs> boss. I'm excited for you. Thank you got to make sure you give it, give me the information so I can give it to you guys so that we can make sure that we tap in and support. Yes. For and sure. it's also All Her Beauty, of course. Y'all know All Her Beauty Cosmetics. But this will be, it'll, our services will still be a part of All Her Beauty. But it'll be like the sister. So it's okay. called All Her Beauty Face to Face. Ooh. So it's different, but it's still in the all her beauty family. Yeah. So, so are you partnering with someone else on the brows? Mm -mm. No, everything is solo. Yeah, it's it's been a journey. It ain't easy now. Yeah. But, and in the future, actually, I've been like you know just networking with some PMUs. Yeah. That does the same things and. Hoping in the future we can come together yeah. and maybe do something, but you never know. Yeah. When you're building, like you said, when you're building a product from the ground up, you're investing a lot of money. You're not really making any money. And okay. the money you make, you try to reinvest it. It's the same hustle as any other hustle when you're building your brand. So, for sure. Yeah, only contact if you're trying to stay down. Yeah. Or the come up. Or the come up. <laughs> Look, don't say, don't say I didn't try to help you now. Don't say. So do you have um, any of your products with you today? Yeah, I actually do. Okay. So here is actually one of our signature makeup Ooh, bags. I love that bag. With our little logo, marble, little look to it. And then we got a little quote on the back. It says, let your confidence shine bright. Mm -hmm. As y'all can see down here, Sean Bright, that's our slogan for all our beauty, Sean Bright. She Sean likes Bright. to shine. Okay? I love that. Yes. So, yeah, if you're interested. Because some women are afraid to shine. Don't be afraid, ladies. No. It's okay to shine. Don't be. And these are just our different, I bought just, I didn't bring any lashes, but mm -hmm. I just wanted to more focus in with you guys on the, the glosses we have. And here, we have a melanin which is our darkest shade brown that we have so far. Ooh, I love this, y'all. And I like a, I love a good brown. Yes, I'm a sucker yes. for a good brown. Ooh, it's chocolatey, y'all. Yes, ma'am. And when you open it, you just want to put it on your lips. <laughs> it looks so beautiful. And melanin is actually one of our top sellers, too. Like, every time I drop melanin, because I have to restock all the time on melanin. So. Yeah. That's your top seller. Yes, melanin. Actually, we'll get to the skin next. And then we, from melanin, we have a sister color, which is skin. It's okay. just a little lighter version for a different okay. skin tone. Ooh, it's a lighter version of melanin, and it's called skin. I love that. So the color, when it pops, when this color pops up, it will be more like a neutral, like a maybe just a tint of color. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I when I wear wear the melanin or the skin, I like to do the lip liner. Okay. Because it just gives that definition. And if you're doing a darker liner with that skin or melanin over that, it just makes it pop. It just makes it pop. So, yes. And then, of course, we have our 
you know, everyday clear. Oh, yes. For ladies that don't want just the moisture mm -hmm. and just want that pop. Period. I am telling y'all, like, I've seen lip glosses. You know, you can tell when the lip gloss is real, like, um, I call it, like, tacky. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, where you'll get that moisture, but your lips will be sticking together or you'll have the white. The white stuff. And you know what's crazy? You said that everybody that purchased, like, review-wise, they'll message me like, oh, my God, it's not sticky like all the other lip glosses yeah. I've been used. It doesn't leave the residue. Like, that's exactly that's what exactly you're what Luxury, <laughs> ladies, luxury. And this is our clear with glitter. Ooh. So if you want a little bit of razzle-dazzle, you can get the clear with the glitter specks in it. Mm-hmm. That moisture and glitter because it's hard to find a good moisturizing glitter lip gloss. And that's our bubble gum. Ooh, our... does this come on like this? Well, it's like a tint, like a, a tint. tint. Okay, so pretty. Yep, yep. And for all my spicy women, yes, ma'am. Hot girls, yes, <laughs> they're trying to pop out. And this is our new, our newest addition to the family, which is Flamingo. Ooh, yes, ma'am. That's the newest of the family. I love it. I love it. So I know you talked about this is oh this is pretty y'all. Yeah. I know you talked about this being a luxury lip gloss brand. Mm -hmm. How much do your lip glosses go for? Twelve dollars. Y'all, that's a steal <laughs> to me because you got a Victoria's Secret. You're probably paying about twelve, thirteen dollars for a lip gloss. This is a good. This is a steal of a price because you're gonna get the the luxury side of things. You get get the moisture. But even when you spend your twelve dollars at Victoria's Secrets, you still have the problems that we talked that about. We talked about. Yep, yep. I love that. So, what about the lashes? How much is the lashes? Are do are there a is there a combination pack or set that people can purchase? We don't actually have a combination pack. Our lashes um, vary, so like they're all one hundred percent mink. Um, we have the ones that have the color ends. The color ends go for ten. And then we have just the original black colors, different styles, and those go for eight dollars. Okay. Okay. Y'all, I'm a sucker for some lashes. <laughs> I need them. I need all these glosses. I need all the lashes. I've been tapped into you, and I just love that you're so much about um, women. Yeah. You know, making yeah, sure. women, making women feel beautiful. Like you said, your slogan is shine bright. Yes. I love that. Yes. So, where can people purchase? Um, my website, which is www.allherbeauty.co, not .com, because people get it confused. You know what? I seen that on your thing, and I was like, she probably missed the M. Like, I put it on here and everything. Like, she probably just missed the M. So, it's C-O. Yeah, .co. Okay. And a lot of people get it confused. Um, Facebook is allherbeauty. I mean, allherbeautyco. And then Instagram is allherlabella. Okay. Labella is beautiful in French. Ooh, so, okay. just to put that out there. What is LaBella? Why should they put R LaBella instead of R B? Yeah. Um, just change it up a little bit. Yeah. But, yeah. I love it. And then, um, last thing I wanted to ask it was about the beauty. Mine. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. But you guys make sure that you tap in um, like Tyra said, she's going to have merch coming out. Yeah, this upcoming fall, sweatsuits, stay tuned. Cute and comfy yes, and cozy. Because ain't nothing cute about being cozy, okay? <laughs> At, all. <laughs> At all. If I can throw that hood on and be cozy and cute, I'm, I'm good. Yes, yes. But, if you come out with a bomber jacket or something too, let me know. You stay tuned. Oh, yeah, ain't nothing cute about being cold. So oh. we got merch coming out, you guys. New lip gloss, Flamingo, if you have not tapped in. It is so pretty. It is so, so pretty. It reminds me. It's, it's so pretty. You just kind of want to eat it. want to lick it. And I, just, beautiful. and I just bought this gift for you. Thank you. Thanks for having me today. That is Oh, y'all got song. lashes. Oh, and these are not, these are, these are when you pop out lashes. <laughs> this is when you pop out, y'all. I'm going to let y'all know I'm going to post when I wear my lashes. What color gloss is this? Mel oh, the melanin. Yes, mel. The most by popular demand, y'all. Yes, Don't be jealous. Get you one. <laughs> Get you one. Allherbeauty.co. Yes, ma'am. All right. So anything you want to tell people or anything you want to say? Any last words, shout outs before we get up out of here? I just appreciate you having me for today and for everybody else. 
if y'all can just take some time out of y'all day and go follow my Instagram, All Her Beauty. Not All Her Beauty, sorry. If y'all can go follow my Instagram, All Her Labella. And then also start following the sister page, All Her Beauty, face to face. Make sure y'all do that. That is, that is for free. It don't take you nothing to hit that follow button. It don't take you nothing to share this interview to all your friends. Ladies, tap in. This is something, ladies of all ages, colors, nationalities. I mean, we all we all need some moisture. We all, need, you know what I'm saying. Nobody likes a crusty lip. Okay, you want to be kissable. That's what you need to get. Okay. All right, y'all. Thank you for tapping in with me. Of course, y'all know why I do it. It's flavor. Till next time we out. Women that really be into me. I've been a hundred as long as a century. Run it up, I'll do the barriers. Took a lot, but I promise to carry us. Need a rape with the stars, I said, Harry, yo. Know the path for my people like Harry. You in the way of my future, I promise that I should just bury you. Can't let her wear this. Unlike the catch my brother Aquarius. And it's funny how all of them.